The question is not, can I afford to build now? The question is, can I afford to wait? Have you been constantly talking at dinner parties about the cost of the square meter rate going up and up and up? When is the best time to build? Will that price ever come down? Well, Ed, this is a video just for you. Let's bring up the last five years of data and talk about that. Obviously, I'm not an economist and I don't work in finance. I'm a builder. And one of the most common questions I get is square meter rates. Let's jump in. First and foremost, I think it's really important to note that a square meter rate is such an arbitrary number. Are you building a large family home on one level? Or are you building five townhouses in a row that are two or three levels high on a really tight site? As houses get smaller and smaller, the cost per square meter goes up because you've still got kitchens, you've still got bathrooms, you've still got consent. You know, we're still building three bedroom homes. You've got less large spaces like garages and large living rooms to spread that cost over. So in general, the bigger you build, the lower the square meter rate. Very important thing to note straight away. We're gonna use this table here on interest.co.nz. We're gonna use a breakdown from the last five years to talk about the average building cost. We're also gonna talk about where the build prices are gonna come down and when is the right time to build. Let's jump into it. So in 2016, average build size was 189 square meters. The average build cost was 382 grand. That came out at $2,000 a square meter. In 2017, in the same quarter, the size of the house went down slightly to 185 squares and the build cost only rose 60 bucks, $2,087. Fast forward to the 2018, again the build got slightly smaller once, 183 square meters, cost $421, and that cost $2,300 a square meter. That's a 10% jump on the year before. So between 2016 and 2017, it went up like literally a percent, and between 2017 and 2018, it went up just over 10%. Now let's fast forward to 2019. So we saw a significant drop in size. Now dwellings are averaging 172 squares, and the average build cost was $434,000. So that went up to 2,500, and another almost 10% jump. 2020, the builds went up slightly, 179 square meters, average cost $460,000, 2,500. It only changed $60 a square meter in that year, average price. End of 2021, houses have got slightly bigger again. Uh, average build cost $522K, and average square meter rate $2,800. So it's gone up almost again another 10%. So 10%, 10%, 10%. In that five year bracket, we saw a two year period where there was very minimal change, a 10% increase, a 10% increase, another hold for two years, and another 10% increase. Over a five year period, we've gone from the average cost being about two grand a square meter to being about $2,800 a square meter. Now looking forward, I know that we're pricing jobs well over $3,000 a square meter. So over a five year period, we can see a clear trend of the price going up. And I think it's also important to note that hasn't gone up disproportionate to the economic environment we're in. Obviously I'm not an economist and I don't work in finance. I'm a builder. <laughs> We could look at a 20 year period and it's clear to see that build costs are going up and they are following a relatively predictable line and it's my belief that there will be some stabilization coming up. I think a better question to ask is not can I afford to build now, it's can you afford to wait and what is the cost of waiting? Now, there are times and reasons to wait, and we talked about that in this video here. What would be some of the reasons to wait? I always say there's three things. Plan for the site, the money to make it happen, the mental capacity. There are reasons to wait, but if you can afford to build now, you want to build now, you've got the land, you should jump on it. The other thing I encourage my clients to do is do what you can to work out if you can afford it. Invest in a concept plan. When we did the thousand hour reno, on Victoria Street, we invested in two sets of concepts. We got those concepts priced up by a valuer, and I priced up all of the materials and time. And then I used those two scenarios to work out if I built concept A, it would cost this much and it would be worth this much. 
if I built concept B, it would cost this much and it would be worth this much. Obviously, I picked concept B, the one where it cost less and increased more. But again, these decisions are not just about it, what it costs. One of the biggest questions I ask my clients is, what are you trying to achieve? How do you live your life? What are you gonna do? Where do you work? What's your family? All of those sorts of things come into that scenario. Do you want an epic big space to entertain people? Are you downsizing so you can travel the world? Start thinking about those things as well. If you're trying to time the market, it's a, a really hard thing to do. And so what I would encourage you to do is develop a plan, get it costed, sort out your finances, work out how you can make it happen. I personally love the quote, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the next best time is now. Now that doesn't mean you should rush out and build a house just because you can, but if you want to build a house and you're planning to build a house, get the ball rolling. Get a concept design, get it priced up. There's some low cost, smart things you can do to get the ball rolling and get one step closer to building your dream.